Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another Top 10 video. Today I want to give you my Top 10 plugins for vocal production. As always, keep in mind that these are just my personal favorite Top 10 plugins that I've used for vocal production over the years, and I find all 10 of these to be very helpful tools to enhance a vocal performance. And that's the goal here with these plugins. So I'm gonna avoid talking about things like EQs, compressors, reverb, etc., because those are more for mixing. Here I'm talking about tools that I use at the pre-mixing stage to enhance, tune, clean up, or restore a vocal performance. Also, to the one guy who I know is gonna say, well, Josh, you must not know how to mix properly because you don't need to buy third-party plugins in order to do a good job. The way I feel about plugins is that they are all tools, just like tools out in your garage. If you prefer to waste time and effort and use all hand tools, go for it. I'll choose the power tools any day. All right, so enough of that, let's get into it. Here's my top 10 favorite plugins for vocal production in no particular order. Number one, Synchro Arts Vocal Line. Vocal Line allows you to easily time align two or more vocal takes. This is great if you have a lead vocal and backing vocals are harmonies. I love to take one lead vocal and then double that vocal with one to two additional vocals in unison, but the problem is that you'll hear the timing variations between the takes. Vocaline makes it super easy to time align a dubbed vocal to a guide vocal. It learns the envelope of one take and then time aligns as many takes as you want to that guide take. It's also great for aligning backing harmonies to a lead vocal, and this is especially helpful when you're working with two different singers in harmony. It can also be used in video and film production for dialogue replacement. If you don't want to shell out the $399 for the Pro version, there's a $149 Vocaline Project version with some features removed, but it still works great for time aligning vocals. Number 2. Synchro Arts Revoice Pro Revoice does everything that Vocaline can do and more. It can time align vocals and can be used for ADR for video and film work, but it can also align the pitch of one vocal take to another. It does this using APT, or an audio performance transfer process, to sync performance traits like volume, timing, and pitch. It also has a great sounding realistic doubler, so even if you don't have a doubling vocal take, you can get that thickening doubled vocal sound. You can tune vocals and create harmonies too. Number three, Celimony Melodyne. When your software wins a technical Grammy, you know it's gotta be something great. I know I said this list was in no particular order, but if I had to pick one plugin on this list to be my favorite, it would definitely be Melodyne. Melodyne is my go-to plugin for vocal tuning and creating harmonies. It may not be super quick to use for vocal tuning and creating harmonies, but it has the best user interface of any vocal tuning software I've ever used. You can snap tuning chromatically or to the key of a song, you can reduce vibrato, control volume of each word, and it can even be used with polyphonic material using direct note access to fix individual note tuning within chords. There's four versions of Melodyne, Essential, Assistant, Editor, and Studio. I highly recommend getting at least the Editor version to make sure you have most of the features that you'll need. It might be expensive, but Melodyne Studio was the best $800 I've ever spent on a plugin, and it's paid itself off multiple times over. Number four, Antares Autotune. Autotune has been around since 1998, originally as a hardware unit and later as a software plugin. Although I love using Melodyne for vocal tuning, I find that in some cases, I don't need surgical control of the performance, and I find that Autotune is a very quick and efficient way to smooth out tuning inconsistencies in a vocal performance. And if you find that you do want more surgical control like Melodyne, you can use the graphical correction mode instead, although I don't find this mode as intuitive as Melodyne's. Number 5. Antares Avox Choir Evo. Choir makes vocal thickening super easy. I usually put it on an aux track and bus over to it rather than using it right on the audio track so I can blend the wet and dry signal. You can choose 4, 8, 16, or 32 voices to layer with your original vocal, and you can adjust the vibrato, pitch variation, and timing variation of each additional voice. This plugin is my go-to method of thickening up vocals. Number 6, Antares Harmony Engine Evo. Yet another Antares product on the list. Harmony Engine is great for easily creating up to four formant corrected harmony voices for a vocal take. 
you can harmonize with a fixed or scale interval by chords or even trigger what harmonies are created with MIDI. So this is my favorite feature because it gives you total compositional control over the harmonies. It also has the choir plugin built into each of the four harmony voices and the input voice. So you can use the choir effect here too. My only gripe is that this plugin has a pretty steep learning curve, but once you get used to using it, you'll be creating some awesome sounding artificial harmonies. Number seven, Antares Mic Mod EFX. This is the fourth and last Antares product on this list. Mic Mod is a microphone modeling tool that makes the microphone that you own sound like another, sometimes more expensive microphone. Mic Mod contains over 100 digital models for classic mics, like the Telefunken U47, Royer R121 ribbon mic, Manly Reference, AKG C12, and multiple models of the AKG C414, the Sony C800, and many others. I often ask my clients what mic they recorded on so I can choose their cheap mic from the source mic and then model another more expensive microphone, which instantly improves the tone of their recordings. This is also helpful if you record voice and all of your instruments in your song with one mic. You get too much of one tone color. Using various different modeled mics can help to vary the tone color from instrument to instrument and create a broader sonic palette in your mix. Number eight, Isotope Vocal Synth. Vocal Synth has a great collection of vocal transforming tools all in one plugin. With this plugin, you can manipulate your voice to create electronic vocal textures, robot sounds, computerized harmonies, vocoder sounds, and talk box effects. You can apply pitch correction too and harmonize with up to three voices. Number nine, Isotope Nectar. Nectar is an all-in-one vocal production and mixing plugin. You can alter pitch, add a gate, add up to four voices of harmony, add saturation, EQ, compressors, a de a limiter, distortion and modulation effects, delay and reverb all within one plugin. I find myself using the gate, harmony, and the de modules most of the time. In particular, the Harmony module is very intuitive and quick to use. Although it's not quite as advanced as the Antares Harmony engine, I find it a lot easier to use and a good substitute. And you can also trigger your harmonies by the key of the song or by MIDI. Also, if you get the Production Suite version, you get two additional plugins. A Pitch Editor plugin, which I never really use because it reminds me of using Wavestune, and ugh, I hate Wavestune. And a Breath Control plugin that is very useful for reducing or removing breaths in a vocal performance. The Breath Control plugin alone has saved me hours and hours of manual editing. Number 10, Waves Renaissance Vox. Okay, so I hate to end the video anticlimatically, and yes, a lot of Waves plugins are outdated, but our Vox is awesome. It has three simple controls, a simple gate with timing controls already optimized for vocals, a simple transparent compressor, again, with all the timing controls optimized for vocals, and a gain control. I use this plugin on almost every vocal recording I make. The gate is such a good gate, and it's so simple to use. It literally has saved me hours and hours of manual editing. I don't even bother adding quick fades to all of my vocal edits anymore because the gate in our Vox cuts out a lot of the background noise, headphone bleed, and even breaths all within a single control. I'll use a touch of the compressor just to level out the dynamics of the recording before I send it to mixing. And the gain control just lets me make sure that the compression makeup gain isn't too loud. So that's Arvox, a super simple plugin that I use all the time. In fact, it's being used on my voice right now. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Those are my top 10 favorite plugins for vocal production. Do you need all of these plugins to get a good result? No, not at all. Again, if we wanna go back to the tool analogy, sometimes I use Auto-Tune, sometimes I use Melodyne. It depends on the situation and the recording I'm working on, much like you can use a flathead or Phillips head screwdriver. They are two very similar tools for two different situations. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you have any other vocal production tools and plugins that you really love, let me know about it in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.